something to celebrate. Big League Weekend, and we'll have first pitch by 6.05 tonight out at the Las Vegas ballpark. Oakland A's are going up against the Brewers. Our Andrew Nomura is already live there this morning as we check in with him. Andrew, this is so great. After coming off a terrible weekend where we really couldn't go outside because of the wind, this is a wonderful thing to be able to do. Tonight they have a game, and then tomorrow a daytime game. Yeah, it's really exciting. You could talk, uh, you could see just how great this ballpark looks as the sun comes up this morning. Really a sight to see, as you can see that pool in the background for all those folks to enjoy later on this summer and enjoying a baseball game. Right? What's better? Right? You got you're at the ballpark. You got maybe a cold beer, maybe maybe a hot dog, more good food, and a great game to talk more about this. We have Jim Gemma joining me now. Jim, thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Big league weekend. The Aviators kicking off later on this month. What's the feeling right now? Yeah, this always springboards into the baseball season. Obviously, spring training started a week or so ago in Arizona and Florida. So the two teams flew in last night after their games. Uh, actually, the A's got rained out in Arizona yesterday. But, uh, yeah, the A's and Milwaukee Brewers will play here a two-game series, and then uh, uh, they'll finish the, the spring training season. And then uh, the AAA season starts, ironically, three weeks from tonight. Uh, the Aviators will be playing the Reno Aces. So. The AAA Las Vegas Aviators will disperse from spring training the last week of March, and uh, they'll get ready for that game. You do, you've been doing this for a long time. Talk to us a little bit about what you are looking forward to this season. Well, it's always good uh, having our manager back, uh, Fran Reardon. Uh, we got a good core of players hopefully coming back. Uh, it's just, this is a great product here between the chalk lines. The Pacific Coast League is rich in... Uh, tradition with the caliber of play i mean most of these guys have been in the big leagues are on their way down on their way up uh it's amazing all these guys throw 95 miles an hour it, it's amazing the high caliber of athletes there are in triple a jim thank you so much for joining us this morning we really appreciate it once again the big league weekend kicks off later today at 605 with the oakland a's and the milwaukee brewers go ahead to head and once again going head to head tomorrow at one o'clock all kicks off here at the Las Vegas ballpark. It's baseball season, baby. We'll send it back to you all in the studio. <laughs> um, Andrew, real quick, do you mind asking Jim, or you may know this um, yourself, for a casual sports fan like myself, if I want to go out to the ballpark and just kind of take in the sights, is there a certain player or players that I should actually focus on on the game? Is there someone really good that's going to be in action? That's a great question. Let me ask Jim. Jim, so Kim was asking, if you're just a casual fan, uh, is there maybe a player or players that you should keep your eye on if you're at the ballpark uh, today, tomorrow, and during the Las Vegas Aviators uh, season? Yeah, definitely this weekend, Zach Geloff, second baseman for the A's. He played here uh, last year f uh, for the Aviators. He's, uh, he's a budding star. Uh, it's not uh, going out on a limb. He, he's a future all-star. Mm. He's definitely a player to look at. Uh, when we come back with the uh, – Aviators, uh, Yohel Pozo will be back at catcher. Uh, I don't know if Lawrence Butler is going to make the big club. If he, if he isn't, he'll be here. Uh, uh, Hogan Harris will be back on, on the mound. So we, and Max Schumann, utility player from last year. Those are the players for us, for, uh, for the Aviators. Awesome. So some good names to look out for. Kim, we'll send it back to you in the studio.